What is going on, Swoopers? Welcome back to another episode of Swoop Luke on this weird, weird Collingwood day. We're not going to do an intro. We're just going to literally jump straight into what we're talking about. And what we are going to be talking about is this little booklet here, the Do Better Independent Review into Collingwood Football Club's Responses to Incidents of Racism and Cultural Safety in the Workplace. So if you've been living under a rock, Collingwood has, uh, you know, been, I wouldn't, wouldn't say rocked by claims that they're a racist club because, you know, every every sort of organization has these sort of claims and stuff like that. But Collingwood are at the forefront of it, you know, with Heredia Lumumba coming out and saying the things that he said and the claims that he claimed. Um, and it, it doesn't even just date back to 2012 or whenever or 2005. It dates back longer than this. And this report um, signals, uh, singles most of them out. But... We're not going to talk about hearsay or uh, or anything like that. We're going to be talking about what the report found, my thoughts on it, the press conference that Collingwood held, what we can do better, and you know how it looks going forward. So when this news broke this morning, uh, well, before the news broke, what, what happened was it was leaked. This document was leaked to, I think the Herald Sun ran with it first. Collingwood had this independent review for a month. They got it, and then, if people are to be believed, Eddie Maguire stepped down or you know announced his resignation a couple of days after it. Are there, is that a coincidence? Is it not a coincidence? We'll never know. They'll never come out and uh, say anything like that. But pretty much, the the board and stuff held on to this review for a month. We hadn't heard anything about it, and then it got leaked. And then they're at the you know forefront trying to okay now we'll hold a press conference and and stuff like that. I'm actually, for one, and I know a few other Collingwood supporters as well, are happy that it leaked because we can address it. Who knows how long Collingwood are going to hold on to this for if it you know, didn't leak and, and stuff like that. Um, if you haven't read it, I'll put a link down below. It's 34 or so pages about you know the review. On, it was independent review and... and um, what they thought of the club, what they can do going forward. They've outlined 18 different steps. I'm not going to go through through everything. I will read out some stuff that, um, that stuck with me on, uh, on my reading because I did uh, have a read of it and stuff, and, and we'll just you know go from there. So let me read the first sort of paragraph that states, The fact that the Collingwood Football Club, through its integrity committee, commissioned an independent review of its processes of dealing with racism reflects the realisation from within the club that something fundamental needs to change. It needs to be noted and underlined that, in undertaking this review, the club was unflinching in holding up a mirror to itself. It was a brave first step that few would have the courage to take and shows the seriousness with which the club takes the issue. So already then, you can see from the start, and that's just the second paragraph, you can see that Collingwood, whether willingly or not, brought this forward and said, we want to do a review, we want to check everything, all our systems, all our policies, um, and we want to know how we can be better or how we can do better. And that's exactly what this um, what this report went out and and, uh, and tried to do. They interviewed 30 different, you know, there was players, there was staff, there was fans, uh, all unnamed, obviously. Uh, but they interviewed them all. And this report, it's, it's damning, it's sad, and it's upsetting. But you know that this stuff is going on. And it's not just at Collingwood and... Um, I'm not trying to pass the blame on to, to anyone else, but it, it happens everywhere. Every, racism is, well, you see what's going on in America and stuff like that, and even you know in Australia and stuff. It's uh, it's prevalent, and and Collingwood and football clubs aren't uh, aren't any aren't any different. Another extract from here says the Collingwood Football Club knows it must confront racism. Now is the time for transparency, honesty, and action. There are people within the club who say they are ready to meet the moment. There is growing understanding that Collingwood will do will be a better club on the field and off the field if it, if it can confront its racism and begin to work more closely to include the principles of anti-racism and inclusion into values in a meaningful way. So we are doing the first steps right. What we have to do now is take on all these things that this review has set, our, our club values, re-look at them, our board, look at it, you know, our make sure we've got a culturally safe workplace. Look, there's so many recommendations 
uh, implement more programs for education and stuff like that, that we can do and that we will do thanks to this. But it shouldn't have come to this. It shouldn't have had to come to an independent review. You know, and it's, it is, it, 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 it really, it really, really, really sucks. And it's really sad. And then you have this presser with uh, Eddie Maguire and it's just, so there's already a fire, right? There's already a fire burning. And that presser was just fuel onto the fire because Eddie came out and he just came out and said, you know, there was a thank you to the country and, and stuff like that or thank you for the land and stuff. Then Eddie came out and said, this is a historic and proud day for the Commonwealth Football Club. What? What? A historic and proud day. Historic, yeah, definitely. Proud? Mm, I'm not proud. That first line should have been, yeah, look, we're sorry what for what we have done. It should have been an apology straight up. That person didn't have to go for that long. Like, he, they did address, and we can move forward, and we will move forward, and, and they were addressing all that stuff, so that was great. But that first line just didn't sit well with me, and it didn't sit well for everyone else that I was seeing um, commentating on, you know, the presser and what was going on. But look, what I'm trying to say is that despite it all, you know, and this this is going to stain the Collingwood Football Club for the foreseeable future. This is something that's not just going to get pushed under the rug. Um, but despite it all, we will come out bigger, better, and greater because of this internal review. Don't 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 get me wrong; it sucks, but there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Even if that tunnel is kilometers and kilometers, and you cannot see any light, there will be light at the end of the tunnel. One thing that really st- you know, stood with me with this report was this line here. There is a gap between what Collingwood Football Club says it stands for and what it does stand for. So that just says to me that we say we're side by side, but when these uh, racism allegations came to light and we kind of just, you know, uh, swept them under the rug, that wasn't side by side. We said one thing and did another. Like I said, we're going to be bigger, better, and greater because of this review. Think back to the 2017 review. Um, not because of it, like the, 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 the football club review. Look what happened. 2018, we make a grand final. I'm not saying we're going to make a grand final this year, but what I'm saying is if something like this happens, we become a bigger and a better club. Look, I don't want to get too preachy, but this, this racism thing isn't just a Collingwood issue. It's a Collingwood issue now, and we're, in, we're going to be splashed across the newspapers because of it, but it's not a Collingwood issue. It's not even just an AFL issue. It's a world issue. You see what's going on, like I said, in America, what's going on in Australia. And this will show everybody what we need to do as a club and as an organization and as supporters to get better, get more I- inclusive. The, what's going to be the hardest thing for Collingwood to do? We can put all these policies in place. The hardest thing that, that we're, it's going to have to do is changing some supporters' mentality. Are you with the Collingwood Football Club or you are with Heredia's claims? Or are you, you know, what you're saying is making us worse. If you don't call this stuff out, you are complicit in this stuff. Even if you're not directly involved, not calling it out, you're complicit in it. So just, you know, just remember that. But like, look, I don't want to get too preachy. I just wanted to come on here. Usually, I would. I wanted to dot point what I was going to say and stuff like that, but I wanted this to be raw and you know just what I was feeling throughout the day. So that's why I've, I'm a bit scatterbrained in this video, and it's a bit, little bit different. Um, it is. It that presser was uh, it was a bit embarrassing to be honest. I'm upset. I'm angry. I'm disappointed. But I'm also positive that, like I said, like I keep saying. We will come out of this better. We will have those systems in place to help, you know, people of color and indigenous uh, Australians to, to to be able to go to the coach or go to you know over the coach's head or whatever to say this is happening. Let's fix it before it gets leaked to the media. You know that's and that's another thing. I would have loved for Collingwood to have come out before this got leaked and say we see this review. This is what we're this is what we're doing about it. Did the presser even need to happen? Could it have just been a letter? All these hindsight's twenty twenty. But what I do know is, and I'll just keep beating this dead horse. I'm beating this horse home. 
we will be greater, we will be better, and we will be side by side when we can put all these policies in place, we get that inclusivity, and it, Collingwood is just a, a, a better club to, to, to be around for these uh, people of colour and these Indigenous Australians and stuff like that. Um, and I do, I do believe that we're going to get there. We're going to get there quick, especially now. We're going to get there even quicker than we were going to get there before. Uh, look, that the Eddie thing should he have stood down probably, but we know he's not going to. There's a, I think there's an AGM tomorrow, uh, so this is going to get questioned again. But look, these are just my quick thoughts, my scatterbrain thoughts. I'd love to know. And this is going to be crazy. I'd love to know what you thought down below yeah, in the comments. Any dumb comments are going to be deleted, or I'll call you out. Um, so don't be an idiot. It's a hard day for all of us, whether you know you agree or you don't agree. It's a hard day for all of us being supporters watching this beautiful club go through this of their own volition, of their own doing. Don't get me wrong, but it still sucks, you know, seeing it. You're not sad. You you you're not upset. You're just disappointed. Is that what my parents used to say to me all the time? Probably. Anyway, guys, that's just been my thoughts. Like I said, let me know below. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your pets. And until next time, double shackers. I'll sweep you later.